Hi everybody and welcome to my presentation. Firstly, I want to introduce ourselves. My name is Eda. I have been working as a research assistant at Istanbul Technical University since 2014. I'm an architect. My research interest areas are environmental psychology, environment behavior theories, children participation, children and education, children and design. Göksenin has been working as a lecturer at Istanbul Technical University, Department of Architecture, since 1998. She conducts research and produces articles in the areas of environmental psychology, accessibility, design for everyone, environmental design for the elderly and the disabled, post-occupancy evaluation in the workplace. I will present today the third teacher the involvement of children in the design process and assessing their development. Now you can see the outline of presentation. This study refers to theoretical background of the ongoing project and I will try to explain the theoretical frame with these topics. And then, firstly, I want to mention about the aims of the study. This study discusses the involvement of children in the design process in school environments. It is explained in the education literature that environment promotes relationships, communication, collaboration and exploration through play as the third teacher. In the design process itself, there is a focus on designing for children rather than designing with children. Within this study, a critical question is asked as how does the involvement of the children in the design process affect the social and emotional development of the children? Could we call the process of children and environment interaction as the third teacher? The study suggests an empirical research that offers new ways of thinking about children's participation and learning and developing. This study focuses on child participation in design with a rights-based approach. So it is important to mention about children's rights. Child participation is one of the core principles of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, which asserts that children and young people have the right to freely express their views. It is associated with other articles in the contract with regard to hearing and inclusion of children's voices. Therefore, these items are also related to Article 12. You can see that. Despite all these views, children's places are shaped based on the values of adults and children's views are mostly ignored. However, as with any subject, it is possible to say that the child has the right to speak on the spa space design. Children's participation types have to be changed according to children's development, so it is important to know about the literature about the children's development. Cognitive and social emotional development differs according to each age group of children. Cognitive development includes the following states. The age range in which these states occur may differ for each child. However, the order to follow each other is always the same. Social-emotional development is the ability of children to express themselves, to control their emotions, to be at peace and harmony with themselves and their environment. Children perceive the world by exploring with their senses and learn through experience. Children's cognitive, emotional, physical and social skills change as they get older. As they grow and mature, their needs, skills, interests and areas of struggle change. In this study, case study is going to be done with children in the 4-5 years old age group who are the oldest children in kindergarten. This age group is linguistically able to express it themselves and also the environmental discoveries of the children start to during this period. Despite having these features, they are involved the processes least. 
Therefore, it is considered important to hear the voice of this age group. Children's participation. One of the main factors which impacts the participation is democracy. Participatory design gives a chance to people management of their environments. Participation provides citizens more active, involved in design and management the process instead of passive user. The term participation is mean as having some influence over decisions and process. Taking part, part or being present is not exactly signified as participation. There are different types of participation models according to degree of participation. Hart improves the latter metaphor of children's participation. Six and upper steps are targeted in this study. Uh, let's talk about methodology. At the beginning of this work, which is handled with a rights-based approach, awareness questions will be asked about children's rights to understand how much children are aware of their rights. In addition, semi-structured interviews will be held with children, parents and educators. Each research question will try to explain different tools. First research question is, how is the effect of design participation on the social and emotional development of children? For this question, we will use a tool which is called Social Emotional Assessment Evaluation Measure. It will be answered by parents. In the second question, that how does children participation affect the place attachment of children and children's belonging to place? This question will try to answer in the light of the place, at place attachment parameters. And also this study will be carried out that the researcher will determine as a result of observations. The third question that how does child participation in the design of educational place affect the child's behavior? For these questions, observation is the most important tool. And also, there are a few observation and behavior papers which are prepared before to check the behaviors. These paper sheets will change in every 20 minutes according to curriculum. After observation and sign the paper sheets, researcher is going to draw behavioral maps. According to behavior maps, these study subjects will be tried to be det detailed. Expected outcomes This research is a part of an ongoing PhD thesis. This study refers to theoretical background, research questions and details of the case studies methodology. The aim of the thesis is to examine how the social and emotional development of children will affect with the participation of the child in the design. Accordingly, it is important to determine the children's sense of belonging to school and how their place attachment has changed. By evaluating the results of the behavioral map, these subjects will be tried to be detailed. Activity types, place needs related to them, behavior patterns, which space is used actively, which area is preferred for which activity, gender-related behavioral differences, participation type, individual or group, and degrees of participation. These are our contacts. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.